everyone it's Karen here and today I want to talk about art journaling but not show you art journaling but talk about it recently I made a page it was a very emotional page and I will link that below so you can see what one it was and I really poured my emotions into it and I got a very big response from people because they had never I know that I had never, but they realized that it's a really important thing to do that, to pour your emotions while you are journaling. Uh, a lot of people didn't realize that you can do that, that you can actually use art journaling as a art journaling as a part of, you know, kind of expressing your emotions and and feeling just, you know, like kind of expressing what you feel. Um, so I wanted to make a series now about our video about why you art journal, 10 reasons, different reasons, not only this one, just so people get an idea of why you, sh why you could art journal, why you should art journal, or if you want to. I mean, this is obviously an optional thing that you can do, but I just really wanted to focus on these 10 ideas. So enjoy. Okay, so for reason number one, and I do have a little cheat sheet down here so I can like really refer to which ones, what I wrote, because I tend to forget easily. So the first thing that why you should art journal is because you love to do art. I mean, of course, you're not gonna art journal if you don't love art, that's an obvious one. But a lot of people like that love art don't do art journaling. So if you do love art, this is just something, an extra uh, thing that you can do on the side. You know, if you create, if you do like crafts, like, scrapbooking or cards or like you know decoupage or if you love doing canvases um, and different things so this is just another medium another place where you can create art and it's a great solution for many different things that create your own idea so the first one is just if you love to create art you can try art journaling that's a great way to do it number two is a great thing for art journaling this I tell a lot of my students for number two is to experiment you can use your art journal as an experiment uh, as an experiment substrate or like you know a place where you can experiment with all the mediums and what um, not only mediums but you also want to experiment with techniques so this is more like um, if you um, you know if you want to create a canvas but you don't know kind of what formulas work with certain mediums or you or you bought a new medium but you don't remember how to use it or you don't know how to use it properly and you don't know if it's going to react a certain way with another product the best way is to just try it on a on a our journal because this is just one page and it doesn't really matter if it doesn't come out nobody's going to see it you can just experiment on a paper and try to create something instead of wasting let's say a whole canvas or a whole scrapbook page or even a card like you don't want to ruin a card before knowing if something will emboss on it or not so in our journal place it's a very good place to number one experiment new techniques number three the um it's experimenting with new products so let's say you got this really cool crackle paste but you don't know how long it will take until it crackle or like how it will react if you spray on it so this is a good place to experiment so two and three are kind of together one of it experimenting your new techniques and the other one is experimenting with new products um, so our journal is the best place to do it it's a cheap thing it's just a little piece of paper that you're wasting you have you have so many papers in this one journal so it's a really good idea to to just um, use that as an as a palette to exp I mean not as a palette as a substrate to experiment with it and if you don't like it you just turn the page and go to the next one and you're good okay number four is really what I've been talking about about pouring your emotions into an art journal and this is something that I want to talk about in a little bit more in depth um, I never understood what the point of art journaling is for a long time I did an art journal because the first few points that I made, yeah, I love art, but I could just do it on a canvas or I loved scrapbooking or I did different things that I didn't need to do an art journal for. I could experiment on a piece of paper. I didn't need to actually open my journal. Um, a journal is just really good to have for the other products because you can actually write down, let's say you, you uh, going back to the third point, you could, let's say you like a really, like as you experimented with something, you really like how it turned out, you could write what you did on the actual journal and then you will always remember what you did. So having all in one place, it's really good. So you could like, you know, experiment with something and then in the back, write what you did, what products you use, what technique you use. And that really helps to remember if you're a beginner and you don't remember the steps of certain things. So that's a really good thing to go to the last point. But for in terms of emotional thing, I never, I was never one of those that wrote journals. Um, 
I never, under, not that I never understood, I understood the point of the journaling. I would have loved to be able to just express my emotions by, by writing, which is I really, I always felt that it really could release uh, emotions really well. But I always felt that I was worried somebody will either find my journal, like a diary or a journal when I'm, when I'm alive or find my journal uh, many years from now and then or even when I'm alive and, and just like you know you're writing private thoughts sometimes about other people and some people that are close to you and I found that very hard to not only they would read my private thoughts which is not something that I want people to do but also they would uh, maybe find out something that about themselves that I wrote and they might get offended from that and I didn't ever, never wanted to kind of offend anybody and even if like let's say something you're right at that moment when you're upset or anger or whatever and you want to write something about them and you feel that it's okay to write it at that moment later on you might not actually feel that about them or not even feel that at all and and they might be very offended if they ever read it so i was always worried about writing a, a journal and for art journal, I was thinking, oh, what's the point? Like, you know, I don't write regular journals. Why should I do art journal? There's no point for it. I could just experiment on the side. So I never did that until one day. I don't know what I was doing. And I just said, let me try this. I'm really curious. I was, or maybe I was in a bad mood or I just really needed to release something, emotions. It was a few years ago. And I said, oh, I really want to do this. And I started Arjun, I think I was watching, I don't, actually I don't even know what, who I was watching, and I just felt like I needed to, I was watching somebody else do art journaling, and I just felt like I needed to do it myself, and I started doing it, and I realized how much I could pour into this. All my emotions could go into this one or two pages or whatever I was doing, and I could release that, and it would stay on that page, or you know, or just basically release into the universe uh, universe by like just putting it out there and then the emotions are not stuck inside you they're not there they're just able you're able to release so that's a really really good point that people should know that our journaling is not only about about you know experimenting or about doing cute spreads it's really about uh, one of the points that you can do is just really express your emotions and release them into your art the same way that people release into canvases you can do it into a journal and the nice thing about this is that a journal is your private thoughts i mean it's your thoughts but it's in art so it's not really a thought nobody knows really what you felt at that time it's kind of hidden in the art and that's a great way to release that without offending anybody or without anybody you know getting into your private thoughts so that's um, another point that I wanted to make and that leads me basically to number five and that is um, because those are like basically what I said like your private thoughts are not going to be misinterpreted or or basically understood because you ex you express them through art and because the art is so subjective somebody is going to see it a different way and going to react to it differently not knowing that what you felt was something completely different so it's a good way of expressing that if they see it you don't have to show it I mean I show my art journals because I show the techniques and how to do things but most of the time there's a lot of emotions in there that people don't even know why and I choose titles that are like very specific to what I feel at the time but people might react differently to that so that's a really good way uh, to share your private thoughts your private emotions without number one anybody knowing what you meant and number two nobody in the future or whenever if they discover or they see it are not going to know really what you meant because if they actually like read one of your journals then they will exactly know what it was right they they will know they understand what it means even if you don't put a name if it's this person that that actually like is it is about so that's a good thing to just it's another reason why you should our journal so you can you basically release your private thoughts without anybody knowing um and number another very important one why our journaling it's so to empower us so many times i make pages that are basically just help me empower me so for example like i'm feeling down but i don't it's not like i'm emotionally down but i just feel like um i need like words of encouragement and i don't have always somebody on the outside to do that for me and how do I do that to myself? How do I empower myself to be able to um, 
continue doing what I love or, or just uh, continue uh, living day to day. And for me, like sometimes I need just that one word of encouragement and art journaling really helps me. So somehow like whenever I need that word, um, I find that it's uh, it comes out in my art journal. So it's just really nice. And for example, like I have something like Dream On or something like that, so we, which I've written on on many of my journals or, or you know, spread your wings to fly, something like that. So just words of encouragement for myself. And also they help others, right? Because if, you're, if I'm showing my art journal to other people, then they're going to uh, be able to, you know, get inspired from that. And also those words of encouragement are for them, not only for me. So. So in a way, it's like really good because it helps everyone. It empowers not only myself, but it empowers other people as well. And I have, and it really helps me and helps them as well. For number seven, I think I am. I better not count because I don't know. The next one is basically having fun. Why our journal? Just have fun. I mean, a lot of people do really. I'm sorry. Um, I really do a really really nice. Um, cute art journals and you know just to show people techniques and that's amazing and you know what they not only for teaching but also like they're just having fun and enjoying themselves and there are many people that don't really like it's not about pouring their emotions it's all about just having fun and enjoying and coloring and just doing things that they love so this is just having fun it's another reason why to do art journaling so as you know it's simple reason but it is there um Another reason why to do art journaling, and I think I touched on this before, and that is um, it's a very small space, so you're not wasting a lot of product. Uh, so for example, as I said, you want to experiment new technique, and you buy all this expensive product, and then you you don't want to do a whole canvas because without knowing if the technique is going to work, if the product is going to react the way you want it to. So yes, you're experimenting, which is a great reason why to art journal, but the nice thing about it is a small space. So you can experiment um, on a small space, try out the other thing, and then uh, try out the, the technique or the product. And if it doesn't work, no loss. You know, you didn't waste a lot of money, you didn't waste a lot of product, and you're good to go. And the next one is um, is a, it's more like uh, something that you can do through art journaling, why to do it. It's not so much why, but how to do it. So let's say you actually want to pour your thoughts, actually write them down. So what a lot of people do is that they actually take the art journal and they start writing all their emotions in the in the back of the page and then they take either gesso or paste and they just plaster it all on. So everything is behind hidden but they were able to release those emotions. I haven't, I haven't done, I think I've done it maybe one or two times where I did that and I wrote and re released my emotions. I've never had the need to do it. I just didn't feel like I needed to write it down. But if you are one of those people that loves writing down and you don't want people to see it, write down and then go ahead and cover it all. It's almost like burning it, but um, it's just covering it all and you know, just kind of releasing those emotions into your journal, like I said before, and then making your spread about whatever emotions you had. And I think for number 10, um, it I think I already touched this, which is a, a doing it instead of a regular art journaling. So um, this is like, I mean, they're all kind of intertwined with each other, intertwined with each other, sorry, not intertwined. I'm, sometimes I am speaking too fast and I just don't say the words properly. Uh, but uh, it's basically you can do this instead of the regular art journal i mean regular journaling so if you don't want to as i said anybody to read your private thoughts then this is a really good way of doing it and just to add to something from before um besides the um you know like uh, using it like you know using um certain words to empower us another thing that an art journal can help is us actually um using certain colors to empower us and I mean not everybody believes that a color can empower somebody or can actually help somebody emotionally but I find myself that when I do art journaling I tend to um, use colors and this is just comes naturally intuitively I use colors that I need at that time that kind of help me heal and um, I find that I go in waves so sometimes I'm journaling on like blues and greens and really cold colors 
which are really soothing and calming. And then sometimes I'm like using reds and oranges and yellows. And that is something that is very, you know, it's very bright, but it also feels like almost like fire. So it almost feels like in my last journal that I did, I felt like I was burning everything, everything, all my emotions. And that I was using reds and yellows and, and, and like really bright, bright uh, fire colors. But sometimes I use really uh, toned cold colors, you know, in the spectrum. I mean, the colors like, like purples and, and, um, and blues and greens, which I really love. Those are my favorite colors in reality, not the reds and the yellows and the oranges. But I really feel like sometimes I need some of those colors and sometimes I need those other colors. So that's another thing that's really good for art journaling is that you can choose colors to empower you, to release your emotions, and to help you. So just to go back and just reread all of them uh, in advance. So why you do art generally? Because you love to do art. Um, you love to experiment with new techniques. You love to experiment with new products and you don't have to like, you know, uh, you, have, you, you can do it just on a small space. Uh, you can pour your emotions into it. You can have fun. It empowers us. Um, you can put your private thoughts and someone and some nobody will be able to see it or understand it and you're, it's all your thoughts. Uh, you can actually hide your, your um, hide your emotions or your thoughts by writing them underneath. You can use color to empower you or to release your emotions and you can use our journaling instead of regular journal journaling or a diary. So there's so many reasons why to art journal. So I really encourage you to just take out, go buy yourself an art journal or uh, go ahead um, and um, use an old book. It has to be a hardcover, hard binding book. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, I'll link below uh, my favorite art journal uh, type. Uh, so you can so you can at least start with it and start with a small art journal don't go big because it's really hard to cover it and you want to just kind of experiment experiment like use your stuff and just experiment pour your emotions empower yourself whatever you have to do have fun everything is so important and it's just another way to just express what you what you love so much which is art which is crafts which is whatever you love just experiment and try it out on an art journal and just enjoy yourself and have fun and i really encourage everybody to just get out there and do it it's so once you start you really can't go back i just love it so much thank you so so much for coming and um just want to say if you have any ideas of why you love to art journal please leave a comment and share this video with anybody like i just really it helps me but it also helps you to help other people so share this video i would love for you to like it and especially if you can subscribe to my channel that that is really important for me but i really love to see what you excuse me what you comment so thank you so much and i hope to hear from you soon bye